increasing border security, strengthening enforcement of existing immigration law, and providing endorsements. These are the three main points provided today by U.S. Senator for Texas John Cornyn as he proposed the Building America's Trust Act. But there's one point that changes the way the federal government handles unaccompanied minors as they cross the border. Hidalgo County, Texas, where this levee wall system exists, is a dual use um, tool to uh, provide Border Patrol the tactical infrastructure they need. Border Patrol asked for the expansion of border security with the objective to reduce the number of undocumented immigrants crossing. The process is one step further towards its completion. We need technology. We don't have enough cameras, uh, sensor equipment. While the proposal also states it will prohibit sanctuary cities and target visa overstays, it also targets unaccompanied minors who were it to pass, would no longer be handed over to their parents if also undocumented. Sister Pimentel, who has worked with thousands of families moments after crossing the border, does not agree with this new proposal. They need help. They don't. They need to be united with their parents. And 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 doing these laws that are making it more difficult for them, it's, it's I think that it's so inhumane. If you're in the group of people that think we need bridges, not borders, think about the humanitarian crisis that will continue if we don't increase situational awareness and operational control down there. Pro-immigrant activists state the border and additional strict immigration laws will not prevent these people from crossing the border. Meanwhile, this will still need to be approved by Congress in order for it to take effect. Reporting for Fox News, Idania Ramirez.